Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, a negative 3a equal to, oh sorry, negative 3a minus 3, I'm sorry, got ahead of myself here, got trigger happy with the equal sign, minus 3 equals negative 2n plus 3p, and we're going to solve that for the letter a. So, uh, first thing is I'm going to rewrite my equation here. Negative 3a minus 3, don't forget that, minus 2n plus 3p. I'm going to add a 3 to both sides to get a's, try to get a by itself. So, I'm going to add a 3 here to both sides, and that leaves me with a negative 3a equals a negative 2n plus 3p plus 3. So, now all I'm going to do is divide by a negative 3 to both sides, and now I'm left with a equals a negative 2n plus 3p plus 3, all over a negative 3. And essentially, we're done. I'm happy with this answer. I think it's a fantastic answer. Some people might have some things different, where they want to divide the negative into all parts, and it makes that be negative, this is negative, and that a positive, this is positive. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's fine the way it is. A is by itself, and there we go. Our final answer is A equals negative 2n plus 3p plus 3, all over negative 3. So let's recap. We're given negative 3a minus 3, and that's equal to negative 2n plus 3p, and we're solving that for a. I added a 3 to both sides, giving me a negative 3a equals a negative 2n plus 3p plus 3. I then divided both sides by negative 3. That left me with a equals a negative 2n plus 3p plus 3, all over a negative 3. Now, some people would distribute that negative, like I said before, to the up, up top and make these positive. I'm not worrying about it. I think it's fine the way it is. And so I would accept this as my final answer being a equals negative 2n plus 3p plus 3. All of that over a negative 